Let's go. I feel good. Let's see if this thing will run. This is not the greatest thing I've ever done. Look at me. I'm out here eating. Are you seeing this? Are you witnessing this? How's it going everybody welcome back to the channel and yes today we are pretty much building a boat out of this big jacuzzi right here so so just yesterday hoodie and i went to somerset met a guy that we met off facebook marketplace who had this jacuzzi for sale he wanted a hundred dollars for it originally and then we talked him down to 75 dollars we're just getting started with this project right here uh we picked up a few things from lowe's we got some pvc pipe a bunch of different stuff that we're going to use to hopefully make this thing float the way that we want it to we do plan to put a motor on it and hopefully just have it as a fully functional boat that way if we want to go out on a pond or yeah maybe do a river float she's ready to go because all i got now is my regular boat which i also have this boat back here that is non-functional anymore first things first what we're going to try to do is basically get this motor off and get it detached from this piece of wood for some reason someone saw a jacuzzi and thought man we should attach a piece of wood to that with glue there might be a reason for that but if i had to guess probably not the brightest moment How do we feel now? That was tough. I'm trying my best not to ruin this motor because there's so many different things we can do with it. If you guys have any ideas on that, make sure to comment those down below. <laughs> this boat's made in the USA, baby. Nice. Red, white, and blue. I think this is gonna work out really well. I'm super excited about this. All right, we're uh, we're making some progress up here. Uh, I think we have decided to probably just leave like the knobs and stuff like that because we want to keep it kind of like people to know it's a bathtub. Uh, she's definitely coming along. Now we just got to get these babies off, which I don't think will be that tough. <laughs> I mean, we pretty much got her done, right? Like, uh, pretty much all we have to do now is just silicone her up. And she's ready to go. Well, now that yeah, now that everything's off, it is quite a bit lighter. Very light. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, gonna we'll... make a huge difference. Siliconized sealant, 100% waterproof and crack proof. That's what we're looking for. We don't want any cracks in this bathtub. Okay, so the problem we run into is we have a giant hole right here. We put a massive amount of caulk in it, but it is, uh, it's just not very sturdy. And I'm, I'm afraid when you have water pressure on it, it's not gonna hold. We need flex tape. Yeah, cause he, got, he had a boat, didn't he? Yes, he did. Oh, uh, so yeah, I, I just solved the problem, flex tape. Yeah, like have, have the caulk on there, sand it down, flex tape. Now we're moving on to phase two of this construction process. We got uh, our PVC pipe here, four inch pipes. And uh, we have some two befores, and we're basically going to build a frame and give this boat a little more flotation using these things right here. So let's go in here and get started. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm concerned with, and then we can do a little trial and error with this if we have to. But how far down in the water is this right here going to set? So it's pretty deep. Uh, it's it's a jacuzzi. It's not really just a bathtub, so it sits a little deeper. Uh, so that that does have me concerned. It may not be as stable. So we may have to make some adjustments down the road, but right now I think what we're gonna do just to be safe is, is take our extra flotation devices, PVC, and that we're gonna cap off, and we're gonna probably put them right up under this just in case it does go all the way down. All right, it is the next day, and uh, I think the, the caulk is, uh, yeah, she's good and dry, good and hard. What's the problem with the caps? No, I wish they go, go over that. More. They go over that. They go perfectly over that. Oh, that, that would have been, that would have been clutch. We should have done that. But you got one extra one, so. Cool. Yeah, we may do that, but we do have a pressure washer going over here somewhere, so we do have that little outside noise, and, uh, but the show must go on, so that's what we're about to do. I think first, our first plan of action is to, so if you look over here, this right here fell out, okay? So we actually went back to Lowe's, and we picked up this bad stuff right here, flex tape. So we're going to, Cover that up with flex tape, and then we're gonna stick it in the pool and see how well she floats. Because before we put these on, I feel like we gotta know where the, the level is that it goes down in the water, so we know kinda of where to put these uh, PVC pipes. So, let's go ahead and do that. Going on, there right there. Should keep the majority out. We probably need to give it another one right here. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. We'll just cover it up with tape and just hope that does the job. I think that'll be all right. All right, y'all ready to put it to the test? Okay, there's that is that is a leak right there for sure. 
Well, she don't sit as low as... No, she sits up pretty high. So that's definitely a leak, no doubt about it. Okay, you ready for this? I think I'm going in. I'm gonna go directly on that. What are you thinking? Yeah, hold me up there, hold me up. You gotta equal, you gotta get in the middle. She definitely floats. That's the main thing. But she is not stable at all. No, no, no. Uh, so, I'm trying not to fall in. John, I prefer you not let me fall in, okay? Trying, but can we try to maybe get this where I can get out now? Okay. Okay. Woo! That's close. The most important thing, she's floating. How is she floating right there? She, I mean, she so, doesn't go down. It's, it doesn't go down very far, does it? I think we put tubes right there, I think she will stay up. It'll be pretty stable. All right, so we're getting ready to fill this big PVC pipe up with uh, some of this spray foam right here. It's a, it should add to the buoyancy a little bit more and help keep us up out of the water. We decided to go ahead and uh, drill holes into it and just start filling it up with foam. All right, we got this frame built for it. So, with that said, this is gonna be another day in the project. Uh, pretty much, that's all we have left to do, right? Well, we also gotta pick up a motor for the boat, and that is the next part, next phase of this, which will probably happen a couple days from now. Let everything, let these finish expanding. They're probably already finished, but our pontoons are ready. Now we're just trying to figure out how to connect the pontoons to the vessel. Should be pretty simple, I think. I mean, once we get her, you know, get everything under us. All right, well, this is, what, who do you like, three days later, something like that. And uh, pretty much these right here are all full. As you can see, it's still coming out, out right there at the little hole, but these are solid as a rock. Watch how well these things float. They float good. I mean, literally, taking quite a bit of pressure to push that down. So I feel good about these. So the way we had our boards together last time, we had them connected like this and that only leaves us that much board to connect to our pipe. So I think what we're gonna do is connect the boards this way. That way we have plenty of surface area for our pipe to be right up against it. We gotta drill holes through the pipe, drill holes through the wood, get that bolted on. All right, well, we got our holes drilled. They're a little crooked. I don't know how this is gonna work out. But we're gonna, we're gonna give it a try. I guess we just have to go ahead and just bolt this onto the two before. Well, y'all, we are uh, knuckle deep in this project right now. She's coming together quite nicely, uh, especially con <laughs> Hoodie give, he giving me looks. Considering everything we've been through, it's coming together quite nicely. We pretty much have got the pontoons on there. We still got some caulking to do. We got some holes in places we probably shouldn't have put holes, but John's over there tightening up stuff. The frame, the pontoons, pretty much on here. We just got to seal these up. And uh, Hoodie, how's things been going, huh? How's it, how's it been? No? So yeah, this has been a, uh, how long have we been working on this hoodie? Uh, this is our third day, but it's been third day within like a week, to, week and a half, about two a week, weeks. To just get this far, and we don't even have, well, we got the majority of it done, but we haven't really. It's been the simple stuff that's held us up. A, a bunch of different trips to the uh, to Lowe's, to Tractor Supply, and now I think she's done. But yeah, just touching up, and uh, we should be able to get her out on the water pretty soon. Probably... Probably within the next minute of this video, I hope. I mean, I don't know how functional it is, but it looks pretty cool, don't it? All right, here we got some rubberized flex seal. So we're gonna spray this on the bottom of the tub. That way when we're in there walking around, we got a little bit of traction. So I think this is gonna be a good choice. Never used it before though, so let's see how it works. That looks pretty cool. We gotta come up with a name. Make sure to drop down a comment of a name right now. SS blank. We were thinking Bubba. SS Bubba, since it's like a Bubba bathtub, Bubba Bubbles, you know. This is another few days later. We got the, the bathtub boat in the pool. I can already see some problems with it, but I'm gonna hop in and just see how it works. Working. All right, so here's a problem right now. When I stand straight up in it, the pontoons are not touching the water. Now here's the... the... All right, here's the good thing about it. I can stand on the side and it will not flip. See that? Like I'm really putting a lot of pressure right here. It probably would flip if I put much more pressure, but 
it's not that tipsy, which is good. That's a good sign. So what I think we need to do at this point, and something Hoodie don't want to hear, something I don't want to say, we're going to have to double up on pontoons on each side, going down, because our water level is too low compared to the boat. And that was what I was afraid of. So, looks like we got a few more trips to Lowe's, but we're another step closer. We ended up going back to Lowe's. We got some more PVC, and we're right now cutting some holes in this PVC to line up with these bolts that we got right here. So once we get all that lined up and get the PVC on top of this PVC, we're gonna drill straight down into it, bolt it to the PVC itself, and put one single bolt through the tub, the wood, and the PVC. Yeah, it definitely makes the PVC not as sturdy on the tub, which is not what we want, but I really don't think we have another choice unless we just want to take everything off and just rebolt everything again. And I think it's worth a shot in order to just avoid that altogether. Hopefully we'll get this done. Hoodie's supposed to be here tomorrow and and I'm hoping by then she'll be ready to put in the water. So fingers crossed. Well, she looks pretty good. Now we just got to put the bolts there. All right, y'all, the day has come. We are going to take out the tub boat and we're going to test it in Hoodie's uncle's pond. So we got Hoodie's truck right over here. We're going to put the tub in the back of it, drive X amount of minutes away and we're going to stick her in the water and we're going to see if she works. We may even try to catch a fish with it if Hoodie's uncle does not care. So yeah, we put a lot of work in up to this point and it is now time to test her out. I think it's going to do fine. We, we did not put it in the pond since we put the other pontoon on. We figured, listen, if it ain't going to work now, then it's going to need a lot of work. So we're just going all in, going to give you guys a good show, even if it doesn't work. So without further ado, let's get on out to the pond. All right, anyway, we have, uh, we have arrived to the pond. Right here is where our vessel is going to be employed on its first adventure. This here's Michael. You don't care to be on camera, do you? Care. This here's Michael. Good to meet you, Michael. Good to meet you. Shout out to him for helping us out with the pond. So, Hoodie, what are you thinking? You optimistic? I'm very optimistic. Yes. What, what do you think about it? 50-50. 50-50. You don't think it'll float. You think it'll sink? I don't Possibly. think it'll float. I just don't know if it's going to stay upright. Okay. I got you. Okay. Yeah, so we haven't had this thing in the pool since we put the second pontoon on, right? But So we don't even know if the second pontoon will be in the water. I believe it will, but I guess we just have to find out. All right, any good boat has to have a method of propulsion. We didn't bring an oar. So all we got is this trolling motor that we picked up the other day from Walmart. It's a brand spanking new trolling motor for a brand spanking new boat. We don't even know if this will fit. We've never tried this. Well, daggum. Okay, well, I guess the trolling motor is to be determined. We don't have an oar. How are we gonna do that? All right, well, we're in the middle of uh, coming up with a, some kind of solution for the problem that we have. Is that our trolling motor has a little clamp on it and it doesn't go the full length of this. Anyway, so we've got a piece of wood right here that we're gonna try to screw in here. So we're gonna put the trolling motor right there. So now we gotta flip this baby over, screw this in, and we're ready to set sail. So we're gonna put this right here. This is just a temporary fix. We'll probably fix this once we get back to the house. All right, now we should be able to attach our trolling motor. Perfect. Let's go. I feel good. Let's see if this thing will run. Back in is not looking good. It ain't much, but it's honest living. We'll try to get in some deeper water. Yeah. Honest living. Honest living. Let's go. How about that? Hey, we're scooting now. I need an extension for my trolling motor. Let's go. Hey. Stable, agile. These are things that describe this boat. It used to be a tub, but it now identifies as a boat. Is this not the greatest thing I've ever done? Look at me, I'm out here eating. Are you seeing this? Are you witnessing this? I feel so safe right now. Safe. All right, well, this sucker floats. She's mobile. Let's see if we can catch a fish out of it. So we gave her a dangle for a few minutes and I didn't catch anything except deeper feelings for my new vessel. But then, disaster struck. You okay? Good? Try to get the drone. Got it. I don't know how to turn it off. 
We had a boo-boo. Uh, I don't think it was the boat's fault. I think I was I was trying to get a cool drone shot. Hopefully we saved that. But, uh, you know, just hit it. I was going back to chicken rain one day. Hit it one of these a little too fast, a little too hard. Uh, and well, I fell out of the boat. Boat, I don't think, flipped all the way. So, that's a good sign. It came close. But here's the one thing that we, uh, one thing we got a problem with right now. My phone's still in there. We got to find that thing. Cause me and Hootie's got a lot of work on that phone, so we have to find it. Found a rod. So yeah, the phone has to be right here, right? All right, well, this is a little over an hour later. We got the metal detector, we got the ore. We're getting ready to go out here and uh, hope we find this phone. I'm willing to go back in if I can get a strong signal. So after I've had time to think about it, I connected the phone to the, the controller for the drone. So they're probably together. I don't think the drone controller is probably gonna work anymore, but I have good hopes for the phone. So let's try to get it. It's a 99. I feel, I feel something right there. I'm on the boat. You're on the boat? I'm well, on scoot the boat. over so I can get on there with you. Oh, right here, right here. What? All right, y'all. Well, we have spent a little time looking for the phone. Unfortunately, we did not recover it today. Hopefully, it like uploaded to the iCloud, and when I get the new phone, we might have the footage. Unfortunately, the drone footage, I've already tried to look at it, Looks like it may be corrupted, so I don't know if we'll be even be able to get that. That's what we was trying to get with the whole thing. But pretty much the boat was very successful, Hoodie. Would you agree? No. <laughs> well, I mean, the, the trial wasn't successful. It was, but, you know, we were just talking. You know, I fell out of the boat, and I don't even know if you guys saw that or got to see it, but the boat never turned over, which is really impressive. So we got a lot of things going on with the boat. My man up here is going to actually give us a gasoline engine, so we may try that on there. One reason I think we struggled to find it was because there's actually a sunken boat right where I threw my phone and the drone controller. So as I was going sideways, I was like, oh crap, I got a phone, and tried to throw it at Hoodie, and it fell short right in the same area where there is a sunken boat. So there's a good chance we were walking all over top of it right then trying to metal detect. Just couldn't pinpoint it because we were getting 99s on the metal detector absolutely everywhere. Yeah, if you have any ideas, I mean, we're not opposed to coming back out here and looking for it again. Try to magnet fish it just a little bit. But anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys wanna see us and do some other stuff to the boat, the boat worked great. We're completely satisfied with that. I flipped out of the boat. The boat was still up, still going. At no point did I feel unsafe in the boat. It was just me trying to dodge the, the drone. And it just, I was, I, was, I was getting too cocky. Let's just be honest. I was getting too cocky out there in the boat. You guys should never do that. Always wear a life jacket. But it is what it is. We're still alive, still breathing. You wanna feel more content? Appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for your boy. We'll catch you guys on the next one.